They haven't had any coffee, breakfast, or anything yet. Just... That's what we're here for. Got a fun big travel day in front of us and packed up early and are got probably an, an eight mile trek today, seven, eight, depending on how far we get. We are headed back uh, west on Knife and uh, we'll be greeted with what we believe is a 175 rod portage. And then after that might be one or two small ones, but most of the today is gonna be paddle. At the sun rising behind us, we're out early, packed in. Cool air across the lake this morning. Nice and calm compared to last night. Might do a little fishing along the way. I am the only person in the crew who has not successfully brought a fish aboard. So we've got that uh, goal yet to uh, achieve, but everything else, the trip's going well. And I've got one more day after today to get back to civilization. So. We just saw a bear cub over there on that far shore on the Canadian wilderness side. Might have been a year old maybe. Pretty cool sighting, our first time seeing a bear out here. Got Canada over here and the US right here. Going right down the middle. Well, we got to the first portage and we're using two different maps. One of them, my map says it's a 75 rod, several 15, like three 15s and a 125, or one short portage of 25. Whereas the other map says it is a 175 rod portage. However, we just did the first stint here. I'm not even sure if it was 75. So we'll just uh, keep going and see how it goes. But we're off to a great start. It's probably not even eight o'clock yet. But got a fun day of adventure in front of us. July 28th. Take your kids fishing in the Boundary Waters. Spent a little time in that pond between the portages fishing. Got a, pulled, pulled a few crappies out of there. Now we're on a 15 rod portage headed to the next one. So we're just taking our time and double carrying gear. You can tell right now my right hip is a little sore this morning. Not exactly sure why, but the weather so far is cooperating.
got a falls coming up here that sounds pretty uh, raging. Must be a nice drop off. I think this is our final final 15 rod portage in this little chain. I think we have one more 25 rod and then maybe a 40 after that. And then we should be smooth sailing the rest of the day. Back for the second load. Just got on to Birch Lake. All the portages are done for today. We may have one short little one, but rest of it is going to be paddle so weather's starting to turn a little bit that's cloud cover and a little bit of wind to deal with but we're getting there using the wind to their advantage. I have three canoe catamaran. Very cool. Through here, cut that cove up around here. We're coming down here now, so we just went past this here. So I think we're in a straightaways here, just about to that island, which is that one right here. So if you campsite right there, there's people on it. That's that campsite right there. That's not I, even on my map. Yeah, so there should be one at the end of this cove right here, around the corner to the left, and we're gonna cut down through right through there. Is where we're going. So. We just arrived on our final campsite of this adventure. We believe this is uh, Horseshoe Island. Got a nice uh, point on this uh, island site with fire pit overlooking the water. Uh, we really lucked out with the weather so far today. 
having some cloud cover, a lot of wind earlier. We battled the wind to get into where we wanted to be. So I think this is in the uh, connection between uh, Newfound Lake and Sucker Lake is where Horseshoe Island is. So we should have about a three, maybe four mile paddle tomorrow back to the entry point, but we're gonna get set up camp and, uh, and make some lunch because we haven't eaten all day other than coffee this morning. So, but great, wonderful day of adventure, uh, travel today and uh, be fun to be able to sit down and relax and just overlook this uh, little point here. Give a little tour of our campsite. We're able to hang the hammocks back in here in this little grove of pines. Plenty of spots to hang our, our hammocks. Sat in here in the shade with a nice view of the lake. And here's my spot. Not putting a quilt on the last two nights has made a difference. Got better sleep, stayed cooler. We got Chef Brian on the griddle tonight, making some flapjacks, over easy eggs, side of bacon. Like a professional. I can do better than that. All right, dinner is done. We're headed out to try to get one last fishing session in before we call it a night and come back by the fire. A little bit of thunder rolling off in the distance, but I think we'll be all right. We got things kind of buttoned down here, so that way we don't run in to get anything getting wet. So, head it out, wish us luck. little guy. There you go. All right, so we are in the afternoon of day five and have uh, just really, after a long day of travel, got to our campsite, got everything all set up and just uh, pretty relaxing. The temperature so far, we haven't had any rain, but we were able to uh, just get prepared in case it did rain but we're now just chilling out here at the island campsite we determined that this is not actually horseshoe island it's another island smaller one next to it but uh should have a short jaunt the rest of the way tomorrow all uh pretty exhausted shoulders especially from the wind today but it's been a great trip overall Might have sounded like an elk, but really they're pretty sure they don't have elk. Kind of sounds like it the first one, doesn't it? Uh -huh. 
heard him looking out to you going. Yeah. No sense to me. Hmm? So that makes no sense to me. Why? How does the plastic not melt on that hot day? Because water can't go above 230 degrees or something like that. No. Where the boiling point is. So it cools the plastic. The only thing is, is it'll probably melt where I don't have the water. Good morning. Morning of day six. We got up, slept in until about 5.30 this morning. Packed up camp, had a little coffee. We're on the water by seven. We've had about a three to four mile paddle this morning back to the entry point. We just got back onto Moose Lake. We have a little bit of ways to go yet. But fantastic week out here. Five nights, six days total. Weather really cooperated. We didn't have any rain whatsoever, although we did see a little bit of lightning last night off in the distance. So we lucked out there. Sitting around the campfire last night, we thought 
Our total fish count got up to 18 this week, which is not great, but we were all able to catch some fish. I even caught, uh, landed one walleye in the boat and uh, had a smallie and a large mouth that did a quick release right next to the boat, just didn't get it in, but Troy gave me the putt in and told me they counted, so we're gonna count. I got a total of three. But uh, we did, we were able to have a couple nice walleye fish fries and make some fish tacos out of them, so that worked out really well. It's always good to be able to do that while we're out here. But it's been a fantastic week, and uh, we're going to be uh, headed back here this afternoon. Seven, eight hour drive, maybe more for some of us. And I uh, think start planning for next year's trip. <clears throat> Enjoy doing a big loop like we did here um, from Moose out to Knife through Vera. I think we did a reverse order, what no most people do. But it worked out well anyway. So we're going to end the video here. Just remember to always make every outing an adventure. And we'll see you in the next. Is it just recording? Yeah. Alright. You're number four in the books. Hell yeah. Only about a three mile left to go. This is much closer to Wilbur's. <laughs> it's going to feel awkward. <laughs>